Morning, pumpkin. Look at how insanely greasy my hair is. It's because I literally like drenched it in oil last night. Um, in rosemary oil, it's supposed to help like hair growth or something, right? I don't know. I know this is like, <laughs> this is like not the look right now, but it's fine. I was just doing my makeup and obviously I'm gonna do my hair here in a second. But, um, oh, I forgot this cam. I'm on a different camera now. Can I show you, you? I bought the little skinny camera. This one, you know, do you know what I'm talking about? This is just like an extra battery and the little tripod. The camera itself is just what's above it. Well, that's the actual camera, but this is it. And then this little screen flips vertical and horizontal so you can film like short form. It's the DJI uh, Osmo 3, I think it's called. And it has a gimbal on it. Anyway, whatever. I don't know how much you care, but we'll see if you notice a difference in quality here. That might be why. So what's up? What What is it now, February for you? I think this is supposed to make it wide angle. Does it look the same? Kind of looks the same to me. Seven o'clock in the morning, 7.22. I am gonna film something. I also have a hot date today. The other day I posted a, a reel and I said, um, hey, I'm going on a date tonight. Get ready with me. Um, there were comments that look like, ooh, you're single and ready to mingle. I'm so sorry I missed it. Ooh, how was that date? My bad, y'all. <laughs> I should have uh, specified, I guess. Like someone else was like, uh, pretty sure she means like with her boyfriend. And I'm like, can you not say it like that if you're going on a date with your own partner? Oh, that's where I was going. I was going with Lewis. Anyway, we went to this little Italian joint um, in Geneva. It was all right. They didn't come to the table though for like, I don't, I mean, no exaggeration. They didn't come and even get a drink order for at least 45 minutes. And uh, they did drop off water and bread. And uh, man can't survive off of water and bread. Okay, so. I was fine with that. Oh, my date. So I am going on a coffee date, that, which is why I'm trying to get ready and get all this other stuff done like pretty early because I'm going on a coffee date this morning with uh, Candy's Land from the internet. I'm gonna put some dry shampoo in and see if it'll like soak up some of the grease. I mean, I did this on purpose and I just washed my hair, but I was like, no girl, you need to start putting that oil in. But when do you put it in? How often do you put it in? If you're a person who does hair oil, how it explain it to me if you wouldn't mind what is the protocol because now obviously i got greasy hair it smells like rosemary too we have been meaning to meet up for a million years and i'm glad we're finally gonna do it today and you guys know i love oak and bean which is like my favorite coffee shop in the general area and i believe they're owned by like the same company and they own these other coffee shops if you're in the like chicagoland area the western burbs specifically um, they own these other coffee shops called Crema. There's one like in between she and I, and uh, that's where we're gonna go. So I'm excited because I've never gone inside of it. I just had the coffee one time, but it was like during the Roni and they weren't allowing people inside or anything. So, you know, I never got the full experience. But I love oak and beans so much, I can't imagine I wouldn't like Crema. Anyway, okay, so that's what my morning's looking like. I'm just gonna put everything in my hair. How do you feel about that? So I just got done filming. I filmed like, okay. You see this? Wow, look at her, look at that lighting. Ah, okay. Do you see this now? And now put it real close. Yeah, you get to see like all the not cuteness of it. Um, this is how I chose to film. Por qué? I don't know. Honestly, I don't. I don't know if I can move you up. I don't think I can, but whatever. It is what it is. Cause to me, the message is what's important. It's nice to, to look cute while you deliver a message, but it's okay. It's okay if you got some shadows. Shadows happen. That's normal. Bad lighting happens. I mean, I can normally avoid it, but I really wanted to be sitting here because this felt like, oh, we're so comfy cozy. Look at me with my freaking delicious coffee. Um, I got a case of the 1883 coffee syrup, which I explained on Instagram. I was like, it's... It's a lot if you only order a little. So you have to have like a whole 12 pack, which normally I would do like, I'd probably call up my sister-in-law. Is my fridge open? No. I call up my sister-in-law, call up my mom and be like, hey, do you guys want any? And then we'll split the next case, you know? So we don't have to wait. I don't have to wait until I'm ready to buy 12 bottles of coffee syrup. That's a lot. Mind you, they don't expire until like a freaking, you know, whatever, 2026 or whatever. Oh no, I got a cramp. Uh, guys, I get this really weird cramp 
right here. Can you see it? I don't know. Is my cup in the way? It's right here. Like it's literally so hard. It feels like a ball and I can feel it. It almost feels like it's turning over inside of my stomach. And then it goes away. Ugh. It happens at the most random times. Oh, <laughs> it is so intense. And I went to the doctor for it and he was like, I don't know. <laughs> I was like, okay, well, thank you. You really earned that copay today, but <laughs> it feels like a ball. But you know what's funny is this is where my port used to be. So I used to be able to push my fingers in and feel my port, um, which is just like this like plastic. Oh, it's like this plastic whatever and it's where they used to shove the needle into and then it was connected to a tube and then the tube was connected to the lap band and the lap band was around your stomach so that's how they inflated and deflated the lap band but i used to be able to feel it and so part of me was like oh i wonder if it's just scar tissue and then part of me was like i wonder if i should tell my surgeon when i do finally go back to get um i'm gonna do a uh, belly button revision and i'm gonna do whatever i don't even know i don't exactly know what i'm gonna do um but when I do, I wonder if I should go back and be like, hey, could you scoop out the scar tissue? Or is that not a thing? I have no idea. I'm not gonna pretend like I do. Um, but yeah, when I went to the doctor for this pain, see, it's already gone. He was like, no. And I was, well, thanks. I feel reassured. I went to the doctor for my tinnitus in my ear. We did an MRI and we did something else. Um, and then they were like, no, there's nothing wrong with you. And then I said, okay, well, there is. But if you said, mm, and then I guess I'm going to say, mm, and just live with it. And and the same thing for my back. And the same, it's just round and round we go, right? I feel like you really have to advocate for yourself. And I'm just not in that phase of life right now. <laughs> I'm not that guy. Um, I'm, I'm going to pray about it. And I'm going to, I don't know try to do what I can do. This pain, I have no idea what it's from. It's not related to food. There is no way it can possibly be related to food based on when I get it. There is simply no way. So I have no idea what it is. Sometimes it's really, really painful and other times it's just like that. It's like passing. It definitely is very uncomfortable, but it goes away. Anyway, it's 914. I'm going to leave here at 10. I should leave a few minutes before that. I'm going to leave at 955. Make sure I get parking. I don't want to be late. This is so exciting. I haven't met anyone like guys. I'm trying. I'm trying to be a person who actually sees people who actually hangs out with people. I still have not reconnected with anyone that I met at that philosophy event, but I feel it in my bones. We're definitely going to relink up and I'm, I'm excited for it. And we interact more online now, and that's really a big deal because you definitely feel like you know people when you interact with them online. Or like just, I'm sure you guys, oh, imagine. <laughs> Sorry, I, one time I spilled my iced tea on the keyboard and uh, it destroyed it, obviously. Thank God I was on my iMac. And so it was just the keyboard. It wasn't the actual MacBook. But th this MacBook, this MacBook, Ten billion dollars. The other one that I recently broke, don't even ask me about it. I literally broke it like two weeks ago. It's a long story and I come off looking very stupid in it. So it's best to just bypass. That one is still, I was going to say at the cleaners. It's still at the fixers. I don't know what to call it. Apple wouldn't take it. So I had to take it to a couple of BA little girlies who were able to do what the Apple store could not. Okay. It was these two girls, these two young girls. They were like, I'm like, here's the issue. They're like, we got it. Just give me a minute. And then she came back like, this is fixed. I was like, you are so cool. But back to my thought, you guys probably feel like you kind of know me. Like if we were gonna go and sit down and have coffee, I obviously don't feel like I necessarily know you, but you could feel, you know, you could ask me about this or ask me about that, or we could talk about this or that because you know that that's something I'm already interested in, da da da, whatever, or something we have in common. That's, that's the beauty of meeting people from the internet. Have you guys ever met anybody from the internet and like befriended them or like married them or something? Y'all y'all get married to internet people? I guess I'm technically dating an internet person right now. Sometimes I forget how we met, <laughs> but you know, I'm excited. Cause look at me 
stepping out, branching out. Look at look at this guy. All right, I really need to focus. I only have about 40 minutes before I leave to get my work done. And if I hyper focus, I can't finish it, but I can make some headway. <sighs> a lot of breath. <laughs> I was just putting all my boots back. Um, hi, I'm back. So that was lovely earlier. And as suspected, I should have showed you, but Crema is the same thing as Oak and Bean. They're clearly the same company. Ah! My watch pinched the hair of my arm. But they're clearly the same company. And um, love that for them. So the, the drink, oh, you're so little. Can I put you on top of my fiber gummies? No, that's stupid. I didn't get sent to my, I didn't get sent to my email. What do you mean, didn't it come through? Yeah, I'm putting my friend on it. I'll do it again. What's your skincare routine? Um, take off my makeup. Not makeup remover, do you use? Then I keep it pretty simple. I normally brush through my hair. That's correct, right? So I do a little something. Right now I'm gonna put some oil in it because I'm trying to like help it grow a little. Oh, I want my hair to grow. I keep on saying stuff that's like this got my color hair and hair so good. Thanksgiving, trying out my mom's skincare routine. Have you seen those videos? No. It's funny. I should do one of those one day. Mm -hmm. Trying to make my mom switch skincare routines. <laughs> I'm mean, still on her face. I mean, my face is older than yours. My face is oily. My so face oily. has a lot more rosacea to it. Black, even just a little bit, my face turns bright red. It's even a little bit hotter, bright red. Your skin is still really plump and stuff under your eyes, too. What is that? Mine is like, like, there's more fine lines and stuff. Obviously, I also have wrinkles, but I get Botox, so a lot of them are not. You have to get Botox. That's crazy. The more you know. Okay, was not expecting my kid to come and commandeer my bathroom uh, makeup removal routine. I don't even know what I was talking about. Um, had a great day, but it's only 6.30. I'll be getting in bed early. Early, 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 early. Um, but I, you know what I was doing at the beginning of the month, I feel like? Or I don't even know when. I can't even tell you the exact time. Like, oh, my eyeballs kind of hurt. I'm like, okay. My eyeballs. My eyeballs kind of hurt. I was spending way too much time on my phone. It was, like, making me, like, I don't know what the word is. It was just, I was sad about it. I didn't enjoy it. it I felt bad afterwards. Um, so I was like, okay, well, it's not just going to stop. You're not just going to stop. Like, do something else. So I've been doing other stuff. And I've been getting in bed hella early. And I got the Kindle Girl like reader set up here now so I have my little extendo arm and I can just face it over here and then I bought the little clicker clicker majigger and then you just strap that bad boy on and then you have your little clicker click click and it go well you couldn't even hear it but it you know turns the page for you girl flying through books between audiobooks and my kindle lately flying through books not like in a I need to read 10 hundred books this year not 10 hundred, um, more of like a, wow, this was so good, on to the next, more like that. So that's exciting. But anyway, I'm gonna work from bed, which I never do, but I am sleepy. Like I feel exhausted because I did have a really um, great conversation and everything earlier, but between filming and picking up this camera again, and obviously like actually being social today, and then I was on the phone with my friend quite a bit today as well, um, it was just, it was a lot of social interaction. So we're going to go ahead and sit in our bed and work and then hopefully I get my work done. And then tomorrow I get to start anew and focus on whatever I want to focus on. Cause I think tomorrow is going to be like the editing day, but I'm also going to read. Like I said, if you are a little Kindle girly, this is quite the little setup. This little extendo arm thing is quite the setup. It has been a game changer and it's great coming upstairs at six seven, eight, and just laying in bed. It just click, click, read, click, read, click, read. It's just life changing. Tell them how our lives have changed, Coco. Tell them how our lives have changed. But this is not a bad Zoom, huh, guys? Tell them how our lives have changed, Cooks. Tell them. Good morning. Nice hoodie. I dig it. Is this your first time wearing it? Yeah. Jaden. His cool hoodie. Where did I get that from? Probably box lunch. Probably box lunch. 
This is the a good day. guess indeed. Morning, love bug. I have been listening to Lisa Jewell's books. They're so good. Um, I forget what the first one was called. None of this is true. That was the first one I listened to. And then the second was, and then she was gone or something like that. That one was good too. And now I'm listening to The Third Wife because this one was free on Libby. So I was like, okay, let me get into it. Not sure how I'm feeling about the lighting in here. It's giving, I've died and come back to life with the darkness of the hair and the lightness of the face. Maybe that's just my new look, I don't know. Anyway, I bought a Vitamix because I, it's a long story, but the only way for me to get it heavily discounted, I had to buy it when I bought it. I wasn't totally ready yet, but here we are. So I am gonna make what I have for breakfast a couple of times a week. I normally have a regular smoothie, but this is a bunch of oats, and then that is some vanilla protein powder from Blogilates, and then this is half of a Fairlife shake, and there's a banana in there, and then ice on top. And so far, I really hate the Vitamix, I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, I, I miss my Ninja for what it could do for smoothies. So thankfully I didn't get rid of it, but we'll see. I think for actual food, the Vitamix will be better. But for smoothies, I don't think it is, but I don't know. It's just, it's weird, it's a hassle, it's kinda hard. Camera will follow your face. Oh. Oh. This camera is so weird. I hope I actually like how the footage looks. Uh, this is probably not gonna fit. Not really. Oh, it is gonna fit. So the thing is like you have, this is like a smart detect thing or whatever, and you have to um, put it pretty freaking tight. So I tighten it by hand, and then when I sit it in here, I tighten it again. Ooh, I almost went the wrong way, but I was about to spill the whole thing. I tighten it again while it's in there, and hopefully this will actually do it, but normally it takes me at least five minutes to blend this smoothie. So clearly I'm doing something wrong. I know it's not the Vitamix, it's me. I have to loosen it, and then I take it off, and then I loosen it the rest of the way, and then I flip it over, and then I get a spoon, and then I mix it up, and then we do this 10 times. And I've done it the other way, okay? I know the oats and the powder on the bottom. I've done it the opposite way. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter like which way you slice it. It still does the exact same thing. So like, I mean, if you're gonna charge a million dollars for a blender, let it blend without needing to be cuddled. Like how disgusting is this? I have to shove this hole. It's not a cute, this is not a cute time. <laughs> what am I doing wrong, Vitamix owners? Teach me your ways. I need to know. Oh, I wonder how this would taste with bananas in it. Or not bananas, peanut butter. I'm actually not hungry, but I want to have something in my belly because I'm gonna get work done right now. Hopefully it takes me less than two hours and I get a bunch done and then I'm gonna head out. I think we're actually gonna go to Target today because um, my, Jaden, because my kid really needs hair stuff. It's at Target and Ulta. I don't wanna go to Ulta though. I mean, ugh. what if I end up not being able to control myself? All I'm saying is right now I got a little buyer's remorse. But I'm gonna hopefully chalk this up to it being my fault which means there is a solution and somebody's gonna tell me what it is. I also use the bigger one and it's not any better. Like the big one, I was trying to make a smoothie in there. Took me like 12 minutes. I also hate how uh, thick this cup is. It makes me not wanna drink out of it. It makes me feel like I'm drinking out of the milkshake container. Which, oh my gosh, when I was young, we had chocomil and we had those milkshake con like machines on the counter. Like that was a staple in a Mexican household. A milkshake machine. When did we let this go? Why isn't it still on the counter? Don't take me good So I can't drink milky stuff unless it's crazy cold. So I actually put it in a glass with ice and I just drink it like a little bit at a time. Don't take me good These stupid songs are stuck in my head and I don't even get on TikTok. So I blame Instagram. These are Instagram songs for me. I also have my water over here. I'm not gonna lie, I wanna make the coffee, but we're gonna save the coffee and we'll probably make that when we leave we'll make that when we leave i imported the footage from this camera and um, i'm doing some other stuff as well like business stuff and pretending like i know what i'm doing stuff i don't know where people learn so many of these things but yada 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 or as nala like to say uh diddle diddle your time's up moving on I imported the footage and I really don't like the coloring on this camera especially when I compare it to my last 
bit of footage, which is from December. It's February now. Um, yeah, no, it doesn't... L I think I need to like toy with the settings. So also the fact that I was looking at myself in the little thing, I don't like that either. So instead I actually flipped it to the back so I can't even see it. So I have no choice but to look at your beautiful face, which right now is just like a little circle, a little black circle, but you know, whatever. I know you're on the other side of it and that's all that matters. So I, I am, I'm having trouble focusing. So I don't know if I should just cut my losses and stop and go do something else and then come back to this or if I should just force myself through it. Not exactly sure yet, but we're going to figure it out. I'm watching a, oh, my freaking emails are nonstop and I wish they would stop because most of them are so unnecessary. Just leave me alone. When I went to get coffee the other day and it was like, I was sitting there just for a few hours. Like my email was, had blown up in that time. And I was like, dog, this is so unnecessary. Like there's no need to have 10,000 billion emails. Email is what I check more than anything throughout the day. I grab my phone, email, email, Instagram, email, Instagram, email. <laughs> or one trick, I guess I have two tricks. I'm a two trick pony. Uh, I need to take a toilet seat back to Target, exciting stuff. Um, turns out I do have an oblong or an oval, I don't know what they call it, but it's not round, um, it's a different one. And uh, if I should just go do that, but I don't really need to buy anything and I haven't figured out dinner yet and time is a wasting, it's only 9 a.m., but I like to have dinner sorted in case, you know, I need to defrost meat or something like that. I don't know, dude, I don't know. It's in my pocket, Starburst wrapper. I haven't worn these jeans in like a year, so. That's an old wrapper. Coco the cat in 4K. Coco the cat in four freaking K, Brody. I can't even find her with the freaking camera. We're heading out. I'm not feeling great. Stomach kind of hurts. I did have breakfast, which was like beans and eggs and toast. Yesterday I was having beans on toast and I was listening to an audiobook about someone in the UK having beans on toast. And I was like, oh. I don't think it's these these beans, these type of beans, but never felt more British in my life. Toilet lid thing and this. Even though I do really like it, it's a double set. You can see there's two in there. Um, it didn't go and I bought it for the guest room, so we're not gonna keep it. We need perfume and shoes. I think we're just gonna wear some Air Force Ones. Get to stomping in my Air Force Ones. And then some perfume. We'll just go with this one since it's in front right now. A little 22 Auris. I just got off the phone with the pharmacy. And for some reason, I have two prescriptions and they went to two different pharmacies, which is not the end of the world, but kind of stupid. <laughs> like, I don't know how I got set up that way, but whatever. Yeah, let's go. Let's go return some stuff at Target. Remember when I went to Target, everything I got sucked. Like, except for this shirt. The shirt doesn't suck. But everything else, like, fit funny. Which it, I feel like it normally does when I get stuff at Target. So, it's probably why I don't normally get stuff at Target. I wasn't going to take it right back, but Noily Poily has convinced me I should. And then we're going to try to find Jay a new backpack. Uh, yeah, I guess. We'll just walk by there. I think your sister wants to go buy the Valentine's Day stuff anyway. My intention is to walk out of that store with more money in my pocket, my virtual pocket, because it just obviously gets returned to. I have like 20 bucks, I think. Yeah, I have like 20 bucks. You have $20? Like 22. Let me have it. Let me borrow it. Well, like, actually, like, that's what I have about 30 bucks, I think, from the returns, but it doesn't give them money, so. Tell them to send it to you. Or Venmo you. Venmo you. Venmo you, I don't want it. <laughs> you don't have Venmo? No. There's people who have asked JK. teachers, do you have a Venmo? Can I just Venmo you this to not do the test or something? There has children. To not do the test? Please. Children are crazy. So, back to Target we go as soon as Nala's done with her lesson. Yeah. And then, and then, and then back home because there's a new season of Love on the Spectrum. And 
I just love that show. I love I'm, some of the I'm people I'm going to start watching The Walking Dead. We love that for you, dear. Uh, you should, we should all watch Breaking Bad. Yeah, it's a good wholesome family show, Breaking Bad, if you haven't seen yep, it. Yep, it's about the people who cook. Yeah, they're like chefs. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yep. That's a good way to, yeah, that's a good way to put it. If I, I guess if I had to like. They cook. Boil it down. Yeah, they cook. Not going to explain They go on adventures. You know, uh, there's Heisenberg. Yeah, Heisenberg, somebody has cancer. It's like a you know, family story. Yeah, it's multidimensional. There's, there's a lot going there's on. There's children. There are children involved. A marriage, you know, woes, familial woes. Surely we can relate to most of that. So <laughs> start start with Walking Dead <laughs> <laughs> and meth. There's meth everywhere. Meth, meth, meth. Is it meth? Yes. See, I was testing him. How do you know it was meth? I've seen what a bunch do you of know? videos on it. What are the kids at school talking about? Are they talking about meth? Uh, they've talked about Breaking Bad before. Are they still saying yacht? Nope. If you say it to you, all weird. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Uh, <laughs> Jaden? I'm not excited. I'm not excited? Yeah, no. you have a not great attitude about it. What? You're the one who didn't have a good attitude. Jane Y'all being like, well, it's not going to be good. So, so no, Jane is literally. No, he's such a bad attitude, and he's just over here lying to y'all's face. Which is so rude because literally, I have, I have, I have just said that there's it's not actual food. It's away, and we've already been in the car for thirty minutes, and we well, haven't actually. Yet. We've been sitting here for forty minutes now. Oh. Forty-one minutes. Here's what I'm gonna say. I have a perfectly lovely attitude. I was trying to look at the upside by saying we're probably not going to like it, which is good because the lines are long. <laughs> so we won't want to keep coming back. Um, I'm here for the vibes because I had a cute outfit on. Yeah, I'm actually just here to go to World Market after this. Same! But Jay wanted to go, so we came and we're going to try. But then he kind of realized that they don't have any actual food here, basically. Mom, so. did you bring the milk thing or no? No, I didn't bring it with me. But I did put it on my cheeky poos today. Have you guys been seeing the milk makeup jellies? Um, blessed as we are, they actually sent us four of them. And Thank you, by the way. Thank you, baby girls. Thank you, baby girls at milk. Uh, so I put it on my cheeky poos and on my lips today, and it's a stain. So, yes, my lips are dry and crusty. <laughs> of course, because I've been sitting here for 40 minutes doing nothing, and my, uh, my I get a little dry in the car, and I can't reach my purse. But you want to touch it? Kind of, yeah. The makeup by Mario one, the pink one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's my jam. And then I forgot your guys' tripods. So you got to be held the whole time like a little baby. I'm editing two videos right now, actually. You're ready Same and good, mini vlog. There you go. That's right. Um, yeah, so we're going to go to a World Marquette after this. We're just, I mean, we're all going to grab a drink. Is it worth an hour wait? I'm going to say it's probably not going to be, but uh, I don't even know what exactly this is. I just know there's only one is. of them. Oh. A new books are I would, I, yeah, I would totally wait an hour for a new book. A new Rick Riordan release. There's a lot of I'd things I'd wait an hour hours. for. Yeah, I'd wait an hour for many things actually. They do have security out here running the show, um, because there's quite a few cars. Oh, security's over there. He's looking, he's looking like uh, he's coming back to yell at somebody probably. Is is it good, bro? Mm -hmm. Turns out we didn't even pay for one of the drinks because they took our order wrong. So. It was good. We've only had it for 0.2 seconds, but Jaden has already gone absolutely ham yeah. with it. Oh, I drink more than he has. Drinking? Medium churro cold brew frappuccino, pero Jaden's has popping boba in it. Nala has the chai one. Mm -hmm. Right? Popping boba. It is very sweet. Mine isn't as sweet. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, mine too. The popping boba is sweet. We have the same thing. It. You do taste the coffee quite a bit, though. It definitely has a strong cold brew flavor, but it's not bad because it is sweet. Okay, let's hand out our food. We've got pretzel bites. These are for Jay. And a savory hash brown. That's for me, I got a hash brown. It's pretty good hash brown. All things considered. Was it worth an hour? It literally took us, I think, 58 minutes from okay, pulling nine. up, 59 minutes, from pulling up to leaving with our food. Was it worth that? No. No. Actually, no. Well, no. I, I feel like back. We're as grateful as we are because we were kind of hungry. I was actually 30 thirsty. 30 minutes, I feel like, is a max I would wait for this. 
I would go back on a random Tuesday. Right. I would I would wait 12 minutes. Yeah. I'm not waiting 30 minutes. I'm not going to wait like an hour. Unless someone else wanted to wait. Unless someone else was like, I got to try Cosmic. So I'd be like, let's go. I'll go with you. I'll wait for someone else. But um, not for the food. Okay, so what did I say? I said Nala took off the, the vest and took up my whole cart. Jaden's over here living his best life. I said I wish I had a coupon, um, but I don't. <gasps> How cute are these little bee things? Stop. It's like not my vibe, but I love the whole feel of it. They have so much um, Easter and Valentine's stuff out right now, so I'm pretty excited about that. But I actually came to look for furniture. Yeah, it's like 50 bucks, dude, and it, you really don't need most of what's in there. I feel like I tell you that every single time we come here. Yeah, I came here for furniture. I'm interested to see what they have, and maybe some decor. I've just been looking around the house, and like it's, you know, I never quite finished it. Um, so I'm just trying to slowly pick things up as I see stuff that I I really feel like it's going to fit, you know? And I want to like get some more custom, not custom, but like handmade things, and et cetera, et cetera. So I'm trying to have a mix, you know? Because that kind of stuff can be a little bit more expensive, and so I want to I want to have a mix. I'm not trying to spend like a billion dollars to decorate the house because you really don't need decoration. So I'm trying to like keep that in mind. They'd be nice to have, but not if it's gonna like break the bank. You know what I'm saying? What do you see? Um, a lot of things. Cute little V days. Conversation hearts. Conversation hearts. Cocoa dusted truffles. They say so. Yes. Like, how did you? How are you so knowledgeable? Um, I love I these cups. I love them. So we're home now, but we really didn't get much at World Market. We got this, which the kids kept calling long spaghetti. They asked me to buy it, and I was like, "Literally, what for?" And they said, "So we can have long spaghetti." Nala picked out some chips, roasted garlic oyster flavor and she got in trouble for opening these in the car because they smell and <laughs> she didn't really get in trouble but we did not appreciate that i got these ones which are so good and then we got some pickles i didn't really end up getting i didn't see anything furniture wise they do have a ton of stuff on clearance right now so if you're interested it's a good time to go check them out they have a ton of stuff on clearance i've never seen so much stuff on clearance at world market um but we got these and then i got like a beef stick i only spent like 30 bucks um the beef stick was trash so I literally threw it out. And then we went to Best Buy, which is this bag. And this is not as fun. Um, it's just a bunch of security cameras and stuff. I have to replace one or two. I actually, I don't even know if I need to replace them. I might have just needed a new charger. So we're gonna find out. But um, the other ones I bought for people, they're gonna come install them. My house is literally just covered in cameras. Um, but, I just, I don't know. I don't know if I've just been more paranoid lately or there's just a lot more stuff online that's freaking me out. I don't know. But then I went to Ulta to spend my Christmas gift card and I got, I really like OPI Express on. So it's this type. It looks like this. It comes in this like kind of, you know, like pyramid type of box. So I got these ones and then these, which I wasn't 100% on. They look cute. They're like a Zodiac one. I'm not going to put Zodiac stickers on it. I just liked the purple. And then I also got this one because I've never seen anything like this. Do you see how they like it? I don't even know how to describe it, but they like match my shirt today. So <laughs> I think that swayed me. And then I got uh, these like Barbie ones. These are probably from whenever the movie came out. So I don't know if those were on sale or not. I didn't get any. Uh, I didn't get the receipt. The receipt just got emailed to me. But this was 60 bucks. So they had to be about, what, four, $13, $14 each probably and then tax or whatever. Um, but yeah, that's what I ended up spending my my little Christmas gift card on. And I think that's it, y'all. There's probably been enough in this video to account for one full vlog at this point, right? Uh, so we're going to... Just call it a day. I'm gonna hang out with the kids. We're gonna throw a frozen pizza in the oven. Um, we we made this, almost made it the other day. <laughs> so I had Jaden wrap it up and it was quite the adventure having him wrap it, but he did. Yeah, I think I'm about to snuggle up either with my Kindle or just with like some comfort television. 
currently watching uh, King of Queens again. I just rewatched King of Queens and I'm like literally watching it again. So um, yeah, if you're watching any comfort shows right now, feel free to let me know which ones they are. I'm still undecided about this camera. I don't like the lighting of it. Like it makes me look a little bit more like I have passed on. It, it gives you that kind of look, corpse-like if you will. Not a big fan of that, but that's okay because you guys know I am alive and well, and I hope you're the same. All right, so smile you later. Bye.